Hello everyone, welcome again. In the software testing tutorial, we are going to learn what is integration testing. So before we go actually into the software space and understand integration testing, as we have done in the previous tutorial about the unit testing, let's first understand the analogy with the real life example first, and then I'll correlate it with the integration testing in the software, all right? So the first thing is, if we talk about the car manufacturing again, right? So we have understood that if we are testing a wheel in the car, so even the wheel is not a unit in the car, wheel has a tire which can be tested separately, um, then wheel has a rim which can be tested separately, wheel has a bearing, uh, and within bearing there are, you know, uh, small uh, elements as well, or the units as well, that can be tested independently, right? So any independent item or any uh, item uh, or component within that particular wheel that can be tested independently is a unit. Now, we have understood what a unit is and we have understood what unit testing is, right? Now, when it comes to integration testing, it is all about when the units are integrated together and you test those integrated units, all right? So, for example, if I take an example of the car tire, um, there will be ball bearing, okay, that will be within, you know, which which will be the key thing within the uh, tire um, or the wheel. So once those smaller units within the ball bearing are assembled together and a bearing uh, is made, then that's what one unit is, right? So bearings will look like something, something like this, right? So it, it's, it has these small items in there okay and you can test these independently the quality uh, the strength etc right so these are you know metal um, balls basically you can say uh, uh, of, of very small size that fit into the uh, ball bearing all right and once you tested these and then these are assembled within these within the metal frames that are there so these two frames then that becomes assembled unit or integrated unit right because these units are integrated with the upper and inside layer right so those are two other separate units so this had made a ball bearing together now this is an integrated unit which can be tested uh, you know separately or as an integrated system or integrated ball bearing all right so now when you are testing this ball bearing that becomes integration testing okay you have integrated different units that made that ball bearing or that make that ball bearing and you are testing it right so this is what integration testing is in the car space or in the actual you know car manufacturing so when you are testing it now this ball bearing there will be you know rim on top of it when you integrate the rim then you test that whole part then you will have the tire on top of it right so now this is what the overall wheel becomes of a car now this is you know an integrated system or a wheel that gets tested at each and every integration phase right so once this bearing is integrated with the units it gets it gets tested then it gets te tested along with the rim and then along with the tire etc right so this is what the integration testing will look like into the car manufacturing space right so this is testing one tire once the tire are uh, applied all the four tires are applied so this is how the approach will happen in the integration testing of the tire or the car now correlating that with the software okay so we have understood uh, of the e-commerce website so e-commerce website will have separate modules so we'll have the login module right and then once the user logs in then he might be redirected to the dashboard okay where he will find all the information about his previous order um, you know his profile information address and everything then he'll have you know buy items um, you know buy items capability he can go to checkout all right he can do the payments so payments page okay so these are some of the you know 
functionalities or high level functionalities that can be there now these are integrated you know uh, these, these all different modules that you see or the functionalities that you see are integration of the smaller units now say for example login page will be having username password and the login button all right so password username and a login button okay so username is a one of the unit could be one of the unit if it is tend, uh, if, if it can be tested independently right um, then you have the password so username and password and then there is a login button that has been implemented on this page and there has been some integration or business logic being built when this username password and login button has been added on the login page for example when a user enters the username and password and clicks on login button then after successful login user will be redirected to the dashboard right so when the testing happens with the integration is placed for example in this case if you are testing the login page which has username and password and you provide the username and password and click on login button and then after logging but logging in user is redirected to the dashboard this is what integration testing is because you are not testing the individual units as such you are testing the overall login page functionality or the login functionality with the valid username valid password valid username invalid password invalid username in, uh, invalid password so all those combinations you are trying to verify and you are trying to verify that integrated units together username password and login and all other business logic that has been implemented for this login functionality is working fine right so this is what integration testing is all about in the software sense and if you can correlate with the physical or the actual real life example that i have taken for example car you work out other examples um, pick any kitchen appliance and try to break it down right you will understand it a lot more and very easily rather than just going through the uh, definitions over the internet it's not going to help you in understanding and learning anything right so definitions are good uh, to you know memorize and go through but they are not going to explain you the real benefit and example so go through the example try to correlate the uh, you know the real integration testing with the other you know analogy in the real uh, life scenarios or real life appliances and that's where you will learn similarly take any pick any website or pick any other application desktop application and try to think about what would be the smallest unit what uh, would be the integrated you, uh, you know testing for this particular application this is how you can learn very easily and in very simple way and in any interview you will be very easily to explain and clarify all these concepts and you'll be able to get into software testing very easily so that's all for this tutorial hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching